Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I want to share with you some new plants that I've just bought. I visited two garden centres the other day and they had some really good finds so I'm going to share those with you today. First up I have this variegated bear paw succulent. And this one just has the cutest little paws. They look like furry little paws. And this one is a variegated one, as you can see. Sorry about my hand shaking. But I just thought this was so cute and it's so furry to touch too. It's not spiky or anything, it's fuzzy. And I've had my eyes open for a bear paw for a while now. So to find a variegated one was really quite special. So that was a really good find. And the garden centre that I went to that had this one, they had loads and loads of different succulents. They just had loads of really cool ones. And they had this huge Euphorbia ingens. And I wish I'd have taken a video clip for you, but at the time I didn't think. I don't usually do things like that when I'm in public. So, so I didn't get one, but it was huge and it was 350 pounds. So I couldn't buy it, but it was beautiful. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this little bear paw. I think it's just the cutest thing ever and so furry and yeah, I just love it. And another succulent that I got from the same place is this little Calancho. I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but it's got this really amazing variegation on it. I just thought it was so pretty really beautiful it's, I suppose it's kind of a purple to burgundy colour with some green but I just thought that was so cute I'm hoping this isn't as tricky as Echeverias because I find Echeverias, Echeverias, Echeverias not sure which one it is but I find them really hard to keep alive because I just don't have the light and this is a sort of similar shape so I'm hoping that this will be a bit different and I'll be able to keep this alive because it is a different one but either way I'm going to have a go because I thought it was really pretty and my plan for this one and some of my other succulents is to make a little bowl like a succulent arrangement so I will film that in a separate video if you like to watch so do subscribe if you will look forward to that one this next one is a Crassula perforata variegata or it's much easier to say its common name which is string of buttons and this is actually a variegated version how pretty is that again I'm going to be putting this one in my little succulent bowl that I bought I just thought that variegation was really pretty and as I say, this place that I went to, it had loads of succulents and it had loads of different variegated ones. I picked up two that I've just shown you. They had loads more too, really interesting. But I thought this one was just super cute too, so I had to get that one. Not sure I've ever owned a string of buttons before, but I like it. It's kind of got different shaped leaves to the Crisula ovata, for example. It's got more of a pointy shape to it. But I think it's really cute. So I shall look forward to adding that to my little succulent arrangement that I'm going to be making. Okay, this next one, I didn't actually buy this one. My mother-in-law gave me this one. And it is a, I will have to read this, Titanopsis calcarea. Not sure if that's how you say it, but there it is. I believe it's also known as a cement cactus or plant. I did do some research last night, but I think it's something like that, cement, cement cactus or something, because it's kind of like got a stony texture to it. And you can actually touch it, it's not spiky. And it feels quite cool when you touch it. It's like a, it is sort of like a rock. Uh, it seems to have these two flowers too. But I just think that's really pretty. I've never had one of these before. 
I really like this blue pot too. But yeah, I'm going to leave this one in the pot it's in because it seems happy. And I'm just going to find a nice cover pot for this one. Yeah, I've got to stop touching it though because it probably doesn't like that. But yeah, it's got a really fun texture to it. Not sure what colour these flowers are going to be. Maybe yellow? We'll see. Next up is the purple passion plant. This one is just a stunning colour. You can see when the leaves first come in, they've got these sort of purple hairs on and they look quite purpley. But if you see these leaves here, this is how they sort of mature. So they do get less purple as they go on. But apparently this one is a vining plant and it gets to probably about a foot tall. And then after that, it starts to vine and the vines can get, I think, up to five feet long. So this one's going to be one for a hanging basket, but look at that gorgeous purple colour. You can see why it's called Purple Passion, can't you? It's so pretty. And I'm really looking forward to it starting to vine too, because that would be really interesting. I'm thinking I might have a good spot for it in the kitchen where I can hang it. Just look at those velvety leaves. Apologies for my shaking. I do not have steady hands today. They're so cute. The way they're just, they really are lovely and velvety, the leaves. The leaves are actually green, I believe, and this purple comes from the little purple hairs on it. Yeah, really cool plant that one. Looking forward to growing this one and seeing how it turns out. Next I have this gorgeous Aglianema White Joy. And wow, just look at those beautiful leaves. Aren't they beautiful? And I kind of got this one at a bit of risk because plants with a lot of white in the leaves, they do often crisp up and die. So this was a bit of a risk because it may not survive for very long if that's the case but it does have kind of speckles of green as well so I thought I'll give it a go and if it doesn't make it at least I tried it doesn't actually have any brown bits at the moment so so far so good but maybe the green that's in it is enough to sustain it we'll see but I felt the plant was just so gorgeous that I had to give it a try I always think that Aglianemas and Diffenbachias are very similar and in fact when I first saw this one I thought is that a Diffenbachia but no it's an Aglianema and um, Aglianemas are super easy to care for so this one should be really easy to care for. Just probably make sure that I give it plenty of light because it doesn't have a huge amount of chlorophyll in it. But yeah I really hope it does survive because I think it's really pretty. Okay, this next one is, I think you pronounce it irisene, but this one is known as the blood leaf plant, which is much easier to say. And it's also known as the chicken gizzard plant, which is horrible. I shan't be calling it that. I should be definitely calling it the blood leaf plant. But it's got these lovely tones of red, just like blood, which is where it gets its name. And this one is apparently a lover of humidity, so I'm going to probably put this in either the kitchen or the bathroom to try and give it a little bit more humidity. But yeah, this is definitely a striking colour, isn't it? Look at those red colours, aren't they gorgeous? It really is like blood, but I thought this was really interesting. It's always interesting to have colourful plants, I think, because we have a lot of green, so sometimes it's nice to have a bit of colour, and this one definitely ticks that box, doesn't it? Last but not least is this beautiful pothos, and I think this is a neon pothos. Well, at least to me it looks like a neon pothos. It's actually labelled... Golden Photos. <laughs> 
Obviously they meant pothos, but they got some uh, letters the wrong way around, but I'm not sure if it is a golden pothos. I think it could be a golden neon pothos. I could be wrong, let me know what you think, but it does really look like a neon pothos to me, so. But I have really wanted one of these for a while now, and when I saw this one, it was just in such good condition and really healthy, and I just couldn't leave it there, so. Yeah, I just love these lime green leaves. So pretty. And of course, this is going to be super easy to propagate too, so I shall definitely do some propagating. Just look at the gorgeous colours in those leaves. It's so fresh. Reminds me of a, a sort of rainy spring day where it's nice and warm with a sprinkling of rain. What did you think of the plants I chose today guys? Let me know in the comments and if you have any tips because you've got previous experience of these plants, do let me and other people know in the comments, it's always helpful. And a big thank you for watching. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.